Hi everyone, so in this video I want to show you how I take an everyday glam and turn it into something like just like this. So this is a mermaid kind of dragon vibes. Um, it's inspired by one of my favourite makeup artists at the minute on Instagram. I'll link her profile below. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do this. It's structured but unstructured. Um, and it's a little bit of a halo eye but not too much. And it's a really good way of just transforming an everyday glam to a, something a little bit more glitz for night if you're in a bit of a rush or you've just you've not got enough time to retake your makeup off cleanse tone moisturize put a bit on you've only had it on an hour or whatever and you don't want to waste it so just a top up really um, and how to take an everyday glam to a little bit more night timey you know this is perfect if you're going to a festival um, if you're going on a boat party if you're on a party holiday girl holiday um, whatever lad holiday whatever you fancy and um, then yeah so if you want to learn how I achieve this look then please keep watching so I'm going to start by taking the Barry M Col pencil I'm not sure what shade it is it's just like a turquoisey bluey color Next I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill palette in shade Dark Magic Ooh. and from this palette I'm going to take Inside Job, this one, which is like a really dark green, it looks quite black on that, but it is green. So I'm just deepening both the inside and the outer edge of this eye. I'm going to take Snowboat, which is this slightly lighter colour. I'm not really going to blend that out. I'm going to keep it quite harsh, quite a harsh line. Next I'm taking Nuke, which is the darker colour, just one down from that. So to deepen the both the inner corner, I'm going to take quite a dense brush with a little bit of black. This just makes it look like a slightly darker green colour rather than looking necessarily black. We don't want to take too much of that colour. And then with the fluffy brush again, just blend that all together. On a tiny flat brush, we're going to take the NYX Glitter Glow, place a little bit on the back of your hand, and we're going to place it on either outer edge, all the way up to the top, just where the dark finishes there. Not too much product, quite lightly. And then with just a fluffy brush, we're going to take Peppermint from the Stacey Marie palette and just blend that over where you put the glitter glue. And then we're going to take the Be Perfect Liquid Crystal Eyeshadow in shade Pirate. And then back in with peppermint on the same fluffy brush and just either side just pack that on top a little bit of a trail for the strip brushes to stick to so i'm just going to apply some eyelashes i'm applying the tatty tl1 
lashes. So I've just popped some glue on, I'm just going to bend the lash band like that on the eye. Taking your tweezers if needed. Just to sort that middle section out. So I'm just gonna use the Huda Beauty foundation in the shade Amaretti. I'm gonna put two pumps of that on the back of my hand and with the contour brush. I'm just gonna add that around the places where foundation moves for me the most. Hopefully around my T-zone is where I tend to get foundation um, and makeup in general just sort of slide off because of that. I mark foundation and contour stick in caramel. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in shade Latte. So just under the eye. Not too far to that because we, we want it to be I always like to leave the concealer to set just for a few minutes. I feel that you get a better colour payoff and it brightens because... I'll just brush that right in. Around here, we're not going too close to it. I sort of just twist my sponge around so it's got no concealer on and then blend up um, when I'm doing a little bit more. Then a really harsh line. MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer and then I'm going to push the bake in and then for underneath the eye I'm just going to go in the waterline with And I'm going to take Cargo, which is a deeper shimmer colour in the Stacey Marie palette. And then for highlight, I'm going to take the Golden Goddess at Shimmering in Dry ink. Face and Body Oil. I'm just going to pump, pump, pump a little bit of the back of my hand. I love just really like finger. rosy cheeks when you've got a green eye. I'm just placing that where you want the main highlight to be. Not too far. just the base so then I'm going to go in with the Doll Beauty highlighter and I'm just going to shake take take this shade Orchard here um, which is like a purple iridescent colour and with my highlighter brush just dip it into that All slightly the brush off any excess This the absolutely um, ages, but it's a really good lip liner. So um, for lips, I'm gonna take lip stick the even. matte lip in and then with the cover three zero. Um, I think this is. Oh my God, I can't even talk today. With the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in chocolate. I find that if you put the lipstick on first, then if you're taking a really dark liner, it blends in a little bit better. Rather than to do the liner on dry lips, it, it's harder to smudge in. 